Wish I was one of those girls Without a care in the world Walking around in short skirts With sun-kissed skin and long loose curls Wish I was one of those girls Who didn't hide in summertime Spending days inside of mine Wasting time hidden her own desires Hello everyone! So I'm about to head out on an adventure. I'm going to a location that I have never been to before. I actually drove out there yesterday to try and find where I was going and I couldn't figure it out so I'm going back again today because I think I have a little bit better of an understanding of what I'm looking for. I am going to photograph, you guys have probably heard of them, so Abraham Lake is well known for the ice bubbles but there's also something that happens in the autumn time and it's where these trees but the water level rises and it kind of submerges these trees and when those leaves change i mean you just have all these crazy colors going on it's a very unique time for photography i think and it's kind of gaining in popularity so i'm not going to tell you where it is it's and we all know it's near the abraham lake area and i think that the you know, going out and exploring and trying to find something on your own is half of the process of photography because that's exactly what I'm doing. And either way, like if I go up there and I don't find what I'm looking for, I'm still going to create something. So yes, we're going on a mission. You guys are coming with me. I have some yellow dress plans up there that I would love to execute. And I want to break down the gear that I'm taking because this is a bit of a drive for me, even though I live in the Rockies, it's two and a half hours away. So I want to break down the gear that I'm bringing on sort of such a journey out there. Always, I will be using my Action 30 liter bag from Shimoda Designs. I've been using this bag for quite some time. I am on the Shimoda team, but I love these bags. Awesome, awesome stuff. So for my camera and lenses, I'm bringing two lenses and one body, which is my Canon 5D Mark IV. Of course, my 16 to 35. I use this all the time on my self portraits. And then I have my 70 to 200. I like to use this for some portraits and landscapes, but a lot of detail shots. I love it playing around with that lens for like abstract scenes. It's really, really cool. And then I have, this is obviously my little pouch where I carry all my extra stuff, tools for my tripod, batteries, so on and so forth. Really, really handy to have this. It just keeps everything really organized. And then I have this little container of treats for Ollie. He's sitting right beside me, so if he gets a whiff of what this is, he's gonna go nuts. So, but always need to have something on hand to keep him happy when we are out there. And then I'm actually also bringing my drone. I had to definitely make it fit in here, but it does fit. So I have my drone and the area that I'm going to, you can actually fly drones there because it is out of the national park. So this will be, I think the second time that I'm going to be flying this. I'm super excited to test it out. And of course, my yellow dress that is always in there. It fits nicely in this little, it's always up in this top part. I love, love putting it up here. So my dress and of course my filter pouch. I love this. It has all my filters in it when I want to get creative and do some long exposure stuff. Not forget bear spray. Obviously I live in the Rockies and right now this is very, very important to have because the bears are out in full force. And then on the other side of the bag, my tripod's already in my car, but that's where I would will attach my tripod when I go to start photographing. I just usually, I shouldn't say this publicly, but I do a lot of the times leave my tripod in my vehicle. Don't tell people. No one knows where I live, so you, you'd never be able to find it anyways. And that's pretty much everything that I'll bring. Of course, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be wearing my jacket, but if I need extra layers, I'll put them somewhere in the bag. And then of course, a snack for myself because I'm gonna get hungry. But this is everything that I will be using to create what I wanna create out there. So this is take two of trying to find these trees. I shouldn't say that I'm trying to find them. Like I, I am exactly where they are. Is this actually now a matter of getting to them? And I'm kind of a person who doesn't like to, I always like to respect if things are closed or like roads are closed. So I think it's just a matter of finding a road that leads you down to the lake where the trees, trees are. 
to avoid bushwhacking it down there. And that's basically what I'm trying to do. So I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys where this location is. I think that it's fun to come and discover it on your own. We all know it's in the Abraham Lake area. So if you are coming up here, definitely try and come check out these trees. But for now, I'm going to carry on. It is super hot out. Like it's already October and I'm like, what am I wearing? Why am I wearing a vest at all? It's warm, so it's just really, really surprising. Anyways, I'm going to just journey on this road where they're kind of doing construction on here right now, but I'm gonna journey on it and just try and find some shootable trees. a lot of room for creativity here. I came out really, really early because I didn't want to have to like rush around trying to figure this out. I knew that this might be a little bit trickier to shoot than other shoots that I've done, but I'm actually really looking forward to bringing the yellow dress out into these waters and experimenting with the trees. So I hope to get like some detail shots and then I hope to get a yellow dress shot. That's if I just walk away with a yellow dress image, then I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to definitely have to go barefoot and because like, I want to pose in the photo and I, the, the water is pretty deep, so it's pretty high up. So I will be shooting this all from the water. I don't have waders and obviously with the dress, that's just not going to work. So let's see how this goes. I'm actually really looking forward to playing around in here. there a little bit because that will really help darken it down so while I'm waiting I'm just playing around with some maybe more like some abstract scenes and having a slow shutter speed which is really really cool because you see the streaks in the trees there like right in here and then you get the movement in the leaves which is really cool and the water is a really really pretty blue it's hard to, it doesn't really show oh there we go it doesn't show up too much on camera because of the light but it's a gorgeous blue color so before i do the dress stuff i'll probably do the dress stuff at the very last and just play around right now with a few abstract scenes and yeah it's just beautiful out here so when i'm doing my long exposures i just play around with different shutter speeds because i like to see all the different effects i don't just stick with one shutter speed so in this case i have the leaves on the foreground so trying to keep it more like on the shorter side of a shutter speed so they're not too blurry or like you know move too fast through the water but I still want to get some movement so I've been experimenting with around 25 seconds but I think that is a little bit too much so I'm going to drop my aperture to f8 and then that'll give me a longer sh or a shorter shutter speed and we'll see what that gives me so really went with long exposures for me it's just trial and error and I love doing this I love having a lot of fun by doing that because I love seeing the different effects This is where I'm set up. It is very, very tricky to film since I'm in the water. I can't set up my phone to do this. So I actually have a friend who's gonna help me out. I really want a yellow dress shot. So I'm gonna just give it a go. Here's where I'm set up. I hope to stand 
maybe right there and touch the tree. We'll probably play around with a few different poses. I am using my 70 to 200 for this one and it should work out. I hope so. I hope something works out. Keep going, you gotta do it now. You're, you might as well do it now. <laughs> Just keep going. That was pretty funny to watch. <laughs> Should I stop filming? Yeah. So that was exactly what not to do when taking self portraits. Oh my goodness. The rest of the night, Honestly, I just took the dress off and went home because after that point I was pretty much defeated but obviously clearly couldn't ca carry on shooting because of what had happened falling into the lake. It is honestly hilarious and I have, I just, whatever about it. It is the next morning now and I'm very, very determined to finish off shooting what I was shooting. My original plan was to come out here. I'm close to where I live actually and I wanted to do a self-portrait but I think I'm just going to play around with my 70 to 200. I am currently working on this scene here actually. I've already been taking some photos. There's been like this beautiful mist all morning. So I'm just playing around with the trees, finding ones that I like, trying to pick them off with the 70 to 200. This is like really, really helpful to do when there is lack of cloud in the sky, I find. I am using my 70 to 200 again. I don't have a plate on my little collar there, but that's okay because this tripod is sturdy enough to hold it. And yeah, again, just playing around with all the different color trees. I think this is a perfect opportunity to do lots of like intimate detail photographs, especially when there's no clouds in the sky. And it's just such a lovely morning. Sunrise is almost eight o'clock now. Like that is just unheard of. I think with the yellow dress, uh, stuff. I actually feel a lot of pressure with it. They're like I'm always having to create that. So maybe this video for me is about stepping away from that and just knowing like that's not all that I do. I love doing it. Of course, take all the opportunities that I can to remain focused on it. But there is so much more to photograph. And like, well, that's a big reason why I started photography in the first place. It's just the feeling of it and how zen-like it feels. So this has been fun. This honestly has been really fun these last few days trying to create. I'm still getting images that I love, not yellow dress stuff. I've had some laughs, but I'm really, really, really enjoying just being out with the camera creating. It's been a beautiful past few days with all of the fall colors.